Good morning, my brother, and welcome to your daily grip on God's Word. Today, we're jumping into chapter 2 of Luke. Before we do that, how many of you have kiddos around 12 or maybe grandchildren around 12? Well, of course, Micah just turned 13 on Thanksgiving Day, and in this chapter of chapter Luke, it's when... Jesus and his parents, Joseph and Mary, were coming back from the great, you know, Passover feast in Jerusalem, and day goes by, and Mary and Joseph's like, where's Jesus? Well, they return to Jerusalem to look for him for three days. I don't know about you, but there's been a moment in a store that I couldn't see Micah for three seconds, and panic set in that just that feeling like oh no where is he where is he and of course he's hiding underneath a clothing rack ready to scare mommy as she comes by him but could you imagine three days searching for your 12 year old son and Leslie and I were able to talk about that this morning that if we went back after three days searching for Micah um, in a comical way he'd probably be on the soccer field playing with the big boys um, just that was the story that we shared with each other this morning. But I just want to dive in with you and see what verse rose up for you. Mine was verse 49. So it, this is Jesus at 12 years old. Mm -hmm. Why were you, <laughs> excuse me, Shadow? All right, I'm going to be real here. I'm letting Shadow out. Here you go, buddy. Here you go. There you go. All right, sorry about that, but there we go. Luke chapter 2, verse 49. This is Jesus at 12 years old. Why were you searching for me, he asked. Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? Wow, at 12. Jesus was so connected to his heavenly father, God poured his wisdom into Jesus. He was able to sit with the religious leaders and have conversations with them. My implementation is I need to be in constant communion with my Heavenly Father, allowing Him to guide and direct my every step. My prayer is this, Lord, pour out your Spirit upon me. Shower down your wisdom that will help me to stay the path with you leading the way. All right, that's me gripping Luke 2.49. Would absolutely love to hear what verse uh, landed on your heart. And let me close this out with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you uh, as we open up your word, Lord, just how you speak and stories arise up personally, um, how they can collide with the stories you've penned uh, through your word. And Father, I do ask for that, that wisdom that can only come from above, authored by you through your Holy Spirit. We ask this in the powerful and mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you guys. Have an amazing day.